before you with great joy now to present you our daily asking journal. Receive joy daily asking journal. Carissa, why are we so excited to have this journal? <laughs> well, as everybody can see, my journal is very well used. Um, it's so important to journal every day. And people have asked us many times, what's the quickest, easiest way that I can script my life? And we came with a light and easy method to present to you today how you can do this in about five to ten minutes a day, actually recording your askings, your goals, your intents, your desires, and why you're having those desires. You have an opportunity to remind yourself to smile, to share with others. You have an opportunity to be grateful. And, and we, we thought through the method of what would be the quickest, simplest, fun method and we've proven it and many we have probably about 500 people using the journal that we know personally and everybody's been so thankful and so wonderful and here we are today to share that with you okay let's open our journals to an empty page get your received joy pen into your hand and <laughs> let's be ready to journal So now that you opened your daily asking journal to an empty page, you see on top that you can fill in today's date. And we also suggest that you fill in the weekday. And this journal is made for three months. So to keep you motivated, you might wish to fill in all dates already to keep you going. Next, read the daily inspiration that's listed on the top of the page and the Bible verse. Be blessed, inspired, and receive joy. An example of that is, I choose to feel excellent about myself. I make this choice every day. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6, 33. And then we go to box number one, where you can see it's labeled with, I am grateful for. So this is the most important box because we have to set ourselves in a state of receiving with being satisfied with whatever we are grateful for. So thank God and list whatever you are grateful for. Please include people, events and circumstances. What aspects in your life are you thankful for? What went well today? Remember to include personal features and emotions. Allow this list to grow and grow every day through your accumulated gratitude and feel your spirit lift them as often as you desire it. And we have some examples here for you what we can be grateful for. So we are really grateful for my amazing loving family, all the wonderful people in my life, my loving pets, my life and easy life, miracles at every moment and my creator and savior, Jesus Christ. Then take a five minute couch time. We've described this in our book, Ask and You Shall Receive, on page 232. During your day, to ponder a specific question you have and listen to the inspired answers you receive or take time now and reflect on your day. Then in the upper right-hand corner, look at the box that says, What may I do to allow more happiness and peace in my life? What additional consciousness and acceptance shall I welcome in for me to accept God's new joy in my life. Write your answer on the lines provided. An example is, I smile, laugh, and show more love to everyone I meet during the day. And then we go on to the next box, right underneath, and we fill in what I have fun and celebrate this day by. So list one action that you will take in the next 24 hours to celebrate this day. Select something you find joyful and fun and maybe you want to play your game of fun we created together. Roll the dice and choose the rewarding activity you land on. And for me, it's taking a bath with candlelight. Then, back to the left-hand margin of your page, you see the box I ask with focus in 10-4. This is the asking box to God. These should be your big ask askings of the day. Anything that is really on your heart, huge desires, things that you're going to just write down and give to God. So let's focus on this asking. 
Fill in all the lines in the box label I ask with focus and tend for. Ask for whatever you desire to consciously to create and receive. Please remember to use only positive words. Knock three times. Think it, speak it, and write it down as if it already is here. Ideally state new intentions each day. Remember God already has received yesterday's askings. State your goals that are still in the making over again if it helps to strengthen your belief. My examples are taking a relaxing beach vacation with my family, perfect health, my neck moving freely, continual financial abundance, a comfortable, cute swimsuit. I am accepted at the university of my choice. It's paid in full and all A's in this semester. The next box to the right hand of that is the box that has the word why with a question mark right next to it. It's so important for us to get clear on why we're asking. And when we get very clear on why we're asking, the world, the, the whole universe opens up to us. So let's write down why. Why are we wishing for this relaxing family vacation? I love myself as God loves me. I deserve it. It makes me happy. I enjoy swimming. The more I receive, the more I can give. And then you see a box that is labeled my gains and miracles created. So this box is available to help you think back over your day and count all your blessings. Be aware of all thoughts and words you are sending out and what is being attracted back to you and now is manifesting into your life. This constant awareness helps you to deepen your belief and motivates your daily conscious asking. Keep score of your creation power by filling out this box. So what are the miracles and what have you gained today? As examples, I have the perfect gift for my sister. I bought the perfect car for me and I won the raffle at the club. My loan is paid in full. I swam with manatees. So whatever you plan for and uh, is already provided for you throughout the day from your askings before, just list everything or the small things, or the big things. And right of that box, you'll see one through five. And those are the five things that you can do today as a 10 star experience. So fill in your daily focused actions by listing these five things. And you can even put them on a sticky note on the cover of your journal if you'd like. So these five things we ponder, and they can be as simple as, calling my best friend, going to the gym, family dinners, purchasing a new printer, taking my car in for service. And the idea of these five things is how could, if I just prayed over them, make them a 10 star experience. And some examples of that are, if you would like to call your best friend, possibly you're gonna be prepared with a good attitude and a happy story for them. And if you're going to the gym for your one hour of exercise, you could take your favorite music to listen to. You could wear your favorite shoes or socks. Uh, if it's cool in there, you might take a jacket. If you have a good water bottle, your favorite water bottle, you'll fill it up. If you have a special green drink or power drink, you might take that along. Family dinner, you could actually pick a topic in advance to talk about. You could set the table and put some possibly gentle, fun decorations around. Um, you could dim the light or light a candle. Purchasing a new printer, you could actually have looked up online a good price for that printer, uh, possibly a coupon, and take that with you. Uh, making sure that you are absolutely ready for this great printer. Writing down, again, everything about this printer in advance that would make joy come to you by having this new printer. And then taking your car in for service. What could you do to make that a 10-star experience? If you just think through it, possibly taking a book, maybe a snack, maybe a hot tea with you. I like to do that. Uh, for me, I took my dog with me. So when I had to sit an hour to wait for my car, I sat outside. They have a nice picnic table, and I had a chance to sit with my dog and take the my nice max on a good vacation for an hour. So this is our great box of five. Each day do five things of greatness. So now you have filled in every single box on this page already and it was light and easy. So 
you have the box what you do you have the box what god can do for you and you stated your why and you collected all your gains and miracles to keep score of your happy life so now it's time to read the sentence underneath and it's um, it says to god be the glory thank you for my breath of life and i rejoice always this is a constant reminder then we have some check boxes to the right of the bible verse that you see and these were placed there so that you can just uh, keep yourself a little accountable, hold yourself accountable to number one, I read my Bible. Two, I am connected to God. Three, I meditated for 15 minutes. Four, I edited my words three times. Five, I prayed. And six, I smile. And to make it light and easy for you when you to read your Bible, we already have done that, so you can check that box immediately. So the next one then is, I am connected to God. So align your head with your heart and listen to your gut feeling and be joyously aware that we are always in his presence. And to find more empowering ways to stay connected to the power of the universe, uh, Receive Joy wrote a book that is titled Connect to the Light to encourage you even more. All right, let's talk about meditating for 15 minutes. It's been shown and proven that if you just start your day by quietly following your breath or listening to a guided meditation, uh, really helps focus you and brings you the most productivity in the day. So please read through your entire page again because we say we added our words three times. So make sure everything is stated in a positive and a present moment as is it, it's done already. So please make sure that you have everything stated correctly, prayed into the solution that you know that this is exactly what you wish to manifest into your life. Have someone else be in agreement with you if you notice, there's a small little asking box. Uh, it says second energy, and that little second energy box is in the bottom right-hand corner. And what that is is for you to just ask somebody, a prayer partner, a, a, we, we call them manifesting partners, anybody that they can put a thumbprint in there, a sticker, a high five, they can put their initials. You just want to have where two or three come together in my name, there I shall be also. So we want an agreement like a board of directors gets together. And when you have that second energy, it just is so encouraging and it actually move, moves the molecules in this universe. And we know what's stated in the Bible in Matthew 18, 19 and 20. Again, truly I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three gather in my name, there am I with them. So ideally, fill in this quarterly journal each day and take it with you and constantly continue your asking. So declare everything in writing before you take action. Ask, ask, ask. As we're finishing up the page, if you notice on the very bottom, the last two boxes are I pray and I smile. One of the wonderful ways that Receive Joy likes to pray is we've written a couple little prayers and we're going to share one with you right now. So if you check that box and take that moment with love and gratitude and pray every day, just it's a beautiful way to start that day after you've journaled. Pick your journal up, hold it in your hands for a moment, and then just say a blessing over it. So we'd like to share that with you now. Happy New Day, God. Here I am. I thank you. I praise you. God, you are the source of light in my life. I recognize your good that is abundant everywhere. Align our wills. I'm holding my journal in my hands and I'm praying to you. Oh God, bless me indeed and enlarge my territory. Keep your hands upon me. You have my heart written down. Yes, I welcome in all these things to be added to my life. Thank you, Lord. I love you. Create your life by design and receive joy. Pick up your pen, script your life, and see the wonders coming forward.